Angular displacement of a body is the angle in radians degrees, revolutions through which a point revolves around a center or line has been rotated in a specified sense about a specified axis. When a body rotates about its axis, the motion cannot simply be analyzed as a particle, as in circular motion it undergoes a changing velocity and acceleration at any time t. When dealing with the rotation of a body, it becomes simpler to consider the body itself rigid. A body is generally considered rigid when the separations between all the particles remains constant throughout the body's motion, so for example parts of its mass are not flying off. In a realistic sense, all things can be deformable, however this impact is minimal and negligible. Thus the rotation of a rigid body over a fixed axis is referred to as rotational motion. Example. <laughs> <laughs> In the example illustrated to the right or above in some mobile versions, a particle or body P is at a fixed distance r from the origin, O, rotating counterclockwise. It becomes important to then represent the position of particle P in terms of its polar coordinates r, theta. In this particular example, the value of theta is changing, while the value of the radius remains the same. In rectangular coordinates x, y, both x and y vary with time. As the particle moves along the circle, it travels an arc length s, which becomes related to the angular position through the relationship s equals r theta. Display style s equals r theta. Topic: Measurements. Angular displacement may be measured in radians or degrees. Using radians provides a very simple relationship between distance traveled around the circle and the distance r from the center. Theta equals s r. Display style theta equals frac s r. For example, if a body rotates 360 degrees around a circle of radius r, the angular displacement is given by the distance traveled around the circumference, which is 2 pi r divided by the radius. Theta equals two pi r r. Display style theta equals frac two pi r r, which easily simplifies to theta equals two pi. Display style theta equals two pi. Therefore, one revolution is two pi. Display style two pi radians. When a particle travels from point P to point Q over delta t, display style delta t, as it does in the illustration to the left, the radius of the circle goes through a change in angle. Delta theta equals theta two minus theta one. Display style delta theta equals theta underscore two theta underscore one, which equals the angular displacement. Topic: Three dimensions. In three dimensions, angular displacement is an entity with a direction and a magnitude. The direction specifies the axis of rotation, which always exists by virtue of the Euler's rotation theorem. The magnitude specifies the rotation in radians about that axis using the right-hand rule to determine direction. This entity is called an axis angle. Despite having direction and magnitude, angular displacement is not a vector because it does not obey the commutative law for addition. Nevertheless, when dealing with infinitesimal rotations, second-order infinitesimals can be discarded and in this case commutativity appears. Several ways to describe angular displacement exist, like rotation matrices or Euler angles. See charts on sub for others. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix notation Given that any frame in the space can be described by a rotation matrix, the displacement among them can also be described by a rotation matrix. Being a 0 display style a underscore 0 and a f 
display style a underscore f two matrices the angular displacement matrix between them can be obtained as delta o equals a f a zero minus one display style delta a equals a underscore f a underscore zero caret minus one when this product is performed having a very small difference between both frames we will obtain a matrix close to the identity. In the limit, we will have an infinitesimal rotation matrix. Infinitesimal rotation matrices An infinitesimal angular displacement is an infinitesimal rotation matrix as any rotation matrix has a single real eigenvalue, which is plus 1, this eigenvalue shows the rotation axis. Its module can be deduced from the value of the infinitesimal rotation. The shape of the matrix is like this, a equals 1 minus d phi z t d phi y t d phi z t 1 minus d phi x t minus d phi y t d phi x t 1 display style a equals begin p matrix 1 and d phi underscore z t and d phi underscore y t d phi underscore z t and 1 and d phi underscore x t d phi underscore y t and d phi underscore x t and 1 end p matrix we can introduce here the infinitesimal angular displacement tensor or rotation generator associated d phi t equals 0 minus d phi z t d phi y t d phi z t 0 minus d phi x t minus d phi y t d phi x t 0 display style d phi t equals begin p matrix 0 and d phi underscore z t and d phi underscore y t d phi underscore z t and 0 and d phi underscore x t d phi underscore y t and d phi underscore x t and 0 end p matrix such that its associated rotation matrix is a equals i plus d phi t display style a equals i plus d phi t when it is divided by the time this will yield the angular velocity vector topic generators of rotations suppose we specify an axis of rotation by a unit vector x y z and suppose we have an infinitely small rotation of angle d about that vector expanding the rotation matrix as an infinite addition and taking the first order approach the rotation matrix delta r is represented as delta r equals 1000100001 plus 0 z minus y minus z 0 x y minus x 0 delta theta equals i plus a delta theta display style delta r equals begin b matrix 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end b matrix plus begin b matrix 0 and z and y z and 0 and x y and x and 0 end b matrix delta theta equals math bf i plus math bf a delta theta a finite rotation through angle theta about this axis may be seen as a succession of small rotations about the same axis approximating d this theta n where n is a large number a rotation of theta about the axis may be represented as r equals 1 plus Theta n n approximately equals e a theta. Display style r equals left math bf one plus frac math bf of theta n right caret n approximately e caret math bf of theta. It can be seen that Euler's theorem essentially states that all rotations may be represented in this form. The product theta display style math bf a theta is the generator of the particular rotation being the vector x y z associated with the matrix a this shows that the rotation matrix and the axis angle format are related by the exponential function one can derive a simple expression for the generator g1 starts with an arbitrary plane defined by a pair of perpendicular unit vectors a and b in this plane one can choose an arbitrary vector x with perpendicular y. One then solves for y in terms of x and substituting into an expression for a rotation in a plane yields the rotation matrix R which includes the generator G equals bat minus apt x 
equals a cos alpha plus b sin alpha y equals minus a sin alpha plus b cos alpha cos alpha equals a t x sin alpha equals b t x y equals minus a b t x plus b a t x equals b a t minus a b t x x equals x cos beta plus y sin beta equals i cos beta plus b a t minus a b t sin beta x r equals i cos beta plus b a t minus a b t sin beta equals i cos beta plus g sin beta g equals b a t minus a b t display style begin aligned x and equals a cos left alpha right plus b sin left a L P H A right Y and equals a sin left alpha right plus B cos left alpha right cos left alpha right and equals a carrot T x sin left alpha right and equals B carrot T x Y and equals ab carrot T x plus B A carrot T x equals left ba carrot T ab carrot T right x x and equals x cos left beta right plus Y sin left beta right and equals left I cos left beta right plus left ba carrot t ab carrot t right sin left beta right right x r and equals i cos left beta right plus left ba carrot t ab carrot t right sin left beta right and equals i cos left beta right plus g sin left beta right g and equals ba carrot t ab carrot t end aligned to include vectors outside the plane in the rotation one needs to modify the above expression for r by including two projection operators that partition the space this modified rotation matrix can be rewritten as an exponential function. PAB equals minus G two R equals I minus PAB plus I cos beta plus G sin beta PAB equals E G beta display style begin aligned P underscore ab and equals G carrot two R and equals I P underscore ab plus left I cos left beta right plus G sin left beta right right P underscore ab equals E carrot G beta end aligned analysis is often easier in terms of these generators rather than the full rotation matrix. Analysis in terms of the generators is known as the Lie algebra of the rotation group. Topic relationship with Lie algebras The matrices in the Lie algebra are not themselves rotations, the skew symmetric matrices are derivatives, proportional differences of rotations. An actual differential rotation, or infinitesimal rotation matrix has the form I plus A D theta, display style I plus A, D theta tilde, where D theta is vanishingly small and A element of so n, for instance with A equals L x, D L x equals 10001 minus D theta 0 D theta 1, display style D L underscore x equals left begin small matrix 1 and 0 and 0, 0 and 1 and D theta 0 and D theta and 1 end small matrix Right. The computation rules are as usual except that infinitesimals of second order are routinely dropped. With these rules, these matrices do not satisfy all the same properties as ordinary finite rotation matrices under the usual treatment of infinitesimals. It turns out that the order in which infinitesimal rotations are applied is irrelevant. To see this exemplified, consult infinitesimal rotation so 3. Exponential map 
Connecting the Lie algebra to the Lie group is the exponential map, which is defined using the standard matrix exponential series for A. A for any skew symmetric matrix A, EXP A is always a rotation matrix. An important practical example is the 3 times 3 case. In rotation group SO it is shown that one can identify every A element of SO with an Euler vector ω. Theta U, where U x, y, z is a unit magnitude vector. By the properties of the identification SU 2, 3, U is in the null space of A thus, U is left invariant by EXP and is hence a rotation axis. Using Rodriguez rotation formula on matrix form with theta equals theta, 2 plus theta, 2, together with standard double angle formulae one obtains EXP A equals EXP theta U L equals EXP zero minus Z theta Y Theta Z Theta zero minus X Theta minus Y Theta X Theta zero equals I plus two cos theta two sin theta two U L plus two sin two theta two U L two display style begin aligned EXP and equals EXP theta bold symbol U C D O T L equals EXP left left begin small matrix zero and Z theta and Y theta Z theta and zero and X theta Y theta and X theta and zero end small matrix right right equals bold symbol I plus two cos F R A C theta two Sin frac theta two tilde bold symbol u c d o t l plus two sin caret two frac theta two tilde bold symbol u c d o t l caret two end aligned where c. Topic cos theta two s sin theta two. This is the matrix for a rotation around axis U by the angle θ in half-angle form. For full detail, see exponential maps of 3. Notice that for infinitesimal angles second-order terms can be ignored and remains EXP a equals I plus A equals See also Angular distance Angular velocity Infinitesimal rotation Linear elasticity Second moment of area <laughs>